Springfield Armory has never been afraid to step outside the box and present something new to the firearms industry. And the newest addition to their catalog of weapons is no exception. The XD Mod Point 2, the 3 inch subcompact model chambered in 9mm. Now Springfield has never really made an ugly gun, so we expected good looks right out of the box, and we got them. This Mod Point 2 is beautiful. Some of the things that they've done to change the ergonomics and the feel of this gun actually add to the overall pleasant appearance of it. Take their brand new proprietary grip zone for instance. Not only does the grip zone enhance the grip of the gun and a more comfortable casual feel to it, but it also adds great look to it. A very nice stippled look to the entire gun. Even the frame has a little bit of work done to it. Although it's hard to see, it does enhance the overall gripping of the gun. And the newly designed frame? Thinner. We found that the slide itself was only 1.176 inches wide and the widest point of the gun, which was the grip, was only 1.191 inches in width. Thus making it much easier to conceal this Mod Point 2 under clothes without any printing. And what can you say about the front fiber optic sight? If you're carrying a concealable handgun, you want that handgun to be ready whenever you reach for it. With this front red fiber optic sight, when you draw that weapon, you are immediately attracted to that front sight and you get a great sight picture. And as with many other Springfield Armory concealable handguns, you have the option with two of the different magazines that they ship with the handgun itself. You've got a shorter magazine that's a lot easier to conceal that holds a whopping 13 rounds of 9mm power. And for those that like a little bit more of their hands on the weapon itself, but a little bit less concealability, you have the larger magazine with the extended base pad that holds a whopping 16 9mm rounds. Nice to have that flexibility based on whether you're looking for more rounds to carry with you or you're simply looking for more concealable whenever you're carrying your handgun. One other thing I noticed was the slide serrations. Most serrations are designed to where you grab the actual serration itself in order to charge the weapon. Same as in this case, they have the standard serrations that are printed on the slide. However, if you'll notice, there's a slight bump behind the serrations where the frame widens a little bit. Let me tell you something. That to me was way more valuable than having serrations, period. I felt like this gun was easier to charge simply by running your hand to the back of the serrations and grabbing that wider part of the slide. To me, the serrations at that point didn't even serve a purpose because the gun itself, the way it flared in the back, was a lot more effective as far as charging this handgun. Now, we don't have a pipeline in Springfield Armory, but we have to believe that they've somehow lowered the bore axis of this gun because it seems that your hand fits a lot higher. Of course, the trigger guard is undercut and then the beaver tail grip seems to be a little bit high, allowing your hand to get pretty high on the weapon. This, again, reduces felt recall. It seemed that this gun had very little recall, even with just being a 9mm. Now, most gun know-it-alls and tactical tough guys online will not admit when they're wrong. We, however, are wrong pretty often, so we've got to get used to admitting whenever we're wrong, which was the case here. Okay, now that slide didn't hold open on the larger uh, magazine with the base pad extension on it. We'll load three rounds into this thing, see if it does it again. A simple case of operator error will run a trip to the range every time. Same thing. This genius was about to figure out what he had done uh, wrong. Very possible that I am. I shoot a 1911 a lot. It's real possible that I'm riding my thumb on the slide. I'm gonna make a conscious effort not to do that right now. A lot of times I will. That's it. Many people who shoot a 1911 will tell you that they typically ride their right thumb over the top of the thumb safety to keep it from engaging and stopping the weapon from firing, especially if you're shooting any kind of competition. But of course, you want that same sense of not engaging that safety in case you pull that gun for self-defense. You don't want it to stop firing while you're trying to fire it. Hence why that thumb is resting on top of the thumb safety. Also, you'll find that many people will ride their left thumb of their support hand alongside that slide also. Apparently, I was doing one or both of these, and I was stopping the weapon from doing what it was supposed to do, which was lock open on an empty magazine. With this newly redesigned, highly concealable Springfield Armory Mod Point 2, you cannot go wrong as far as choosing a nice, well-fitting, well-concealable handgun. And at an MSRP of $565, hey man, it's hard to find a value like this on the market with a gun that's this versatile, this comfortable, and again, this concealable.